Spooky Game Maho, everybody, and welcome to something a little bit different. So, I really like the game franchise. I guess it's the Nikki franchise? I played Love Nikki obsessively when I was, like, in college and everything, and now they have announced Infinity Nikki, and I thought it might be a little fun to react to one of the trailers for it. I am super hyped for this game, and maybe, maybe, maybe I might play it on this channel. We'll see, we'll see. But for now, here is my reaction to the Love Nikki Tokyo Game Show trailer and panel. Yay! Here we go. Tokyo Game Show. I'm kind of curious why this is in English, but I'm happy. I'll take it. Oh my god, stop! They have the Momo plushie! Yeah, the set's really cute! I like the, like, well-dressed tanuki in the back. <laughs> Dude, they always have really cozy backgrounds. I did not realize there were so many. Also, I totally didn't realize that they did Love in Deep Space. I can't, I mean, I can believe they're making an open world game, but I still think that's wild to this day. Yeah, not the platforming. No, we don't have to have platforming. This game is so pretty. My God, this is kind of like everything I really want an open world to look like. The, the bubble float dress thingy is so pretty. <laughs> the detail, just like the way they're handing foliage. I'm, I'm a girl for foliage. Even these little sprite designs are kind of adorable. That'd be looking like Mount Everest. What are we doing? Actually, that looks like that one background on Apple Forever. <laughs> Like, this is what mountains should look in the background. Oh, she! I look like a wooloo. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that the whole world's just, like, dedicated to making outfits. Dude, I still just- this game feels like a fever dream. I'm like, are they really making a game for the girlies? I'm used to stylists being in reference to the fact that uh, we're gonna beat the other stylists. I don't know how much the competition plays a role in here, but I'm pretty sure it did for both Love Nikki and Shining Nick. Good. Good. I don't want to do competitions anymore. Well, all right. Let's let's figure out what jumping means. Did she just jump into the next outfit? Is that what that means? Oh. I don't love the transition from not having the outfit to having the outfit. It's just kind of like boop. Wish that had a little bit more flair to it. Okay, but is jump just that one outfit though? Did jump just- oh, did they just refer to jumping as the, like, literal jumping? Am I being silly? I'm super hyped about that. That floating thing looks adorable. Fast travel, I suppose. I guess maybe just faster travel if it's not awkward. The bike is super cute, dude. 
Ooh, I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of hyped. The bike was the bike's really pretty. I wonder if it's just that standard bike or if it's customizable. <laughs> so much is customizable in the Nikki games. Or wish. That's a cute little name. Oh, they're le I can see that you're level 10. You have hearts. I've not seen so much of the UI. Got a mini map top left. Very similar to other games. Backpack, camera. I don't know if cutting is supposed to be like a quick screenshot, and then you've got Momo. Great wish tree. Makes sense for Flora wish. Oh, there are there are lanterns hung from the tree. That's cute. The town's just so cute. I love the detail in the architecture. It's just really impressive. Like the bottom floor seemed to have that blue, and then the top floor seemed to be more. Also, I'm a sucker for blue. I'm surprised this town is more predominantly like got a blue accent rather than having a pink accent. But to be fair, it does make Nikki stand out. I mean, look how pink she is based off everything. Cause it's not quite like desaturated. Like the grass is pretty saturated, but obviously your character is supposed to stand out. But the animation for her is so dainty. <laughs> Whoever they got to do the mocap, fantastic job. But the blue flower accent in the blue mansion. Whoa, whoa, dude, the castle so close by. Like, they, I can see that they were not scared to have a flying mechanic in this game. Because the world doesn't look empty. Like, I'm so used to- I'm sorry, so many of these open world games look so insanely empty. And it bugs the crap out of me. But this looks good from afar, like... I don't know how they're handling their, um, LODs, but it looks really good. Oh, it's super convenient for bad platformers like me. I'm so glad they gave me a handicap. Oh, so just talking about the camera function, which I'm pretty excited about. Like, normally I do not care about cameras and taking photos in games i never really get into it i actually want to get into it and i feel like this game is putting a lot more care into its photography as well as just like the environment so the photography actually looks good <laughs> oh well look at that there's there's a cage right over there Oh, are we putting a fake bird in there? Take the fake bird? Do we have to get a real bird? Oh, I get- that's so clever! Okay, I'm, I give it to them. That's cute. You gotta angle the cage so it looks like the birds are in it. And it's all about the angle. That's clever. And also, we don't actually have to get a bird. We don't have to put it in a cage. Oh, the camera is- I've seen some of the screenshots for the camera. This is intense. I wonder if this area is gonna have, like, specific... They tend to like to do country-based regions for stuff, so I wonder if there's going to be a predominantly Chinese area, because there's a predominantly Chinese area in... I think both uh, Love Nikki and Shiny Nikki. I definitely know Love Nikki, because they have the Cloud Kingdom. Okay, I gotta give it to it. The fishing rod is not super noticeable. It's under the bench, but the arrow does help. I'm glad that they have the arrow, because unfortunately the rod does not stand out. But they do have... So the, the, so the Momo on the top left is very similar to another function I've seen in another open world game. <laughs> it will help you see things that are hidden. So we, uh, we didn't ignore that rod. Oh my god, this is harrowing. This is going to be where I get stuck the whole game. I'm so bad at platforms, but you know what? For Nikki, it's worth it. You know, this, this is going to be my get good at platforms era. <laughs> we must not. Uh, listen, buddy, you and me both. I will be missing that cloud. Oh, I just realized I'm covering him up. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> It's me. I'm the director now. Oh my god, we got it. Oh! It got real cubic. 
I can assure you that most of this demo is going to be me spinning every ounce of my power not to make a Genshin reference. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you know, you know. And if you know, you played the first three seconds of Genshin. <laughs> I'm just appreciating how pretty her outfit is this game. Like, I already want to cosplay it. She's so cute. I already have the pink wig. I've cosplayed Miss Man before. I wonder if this is similar. I wonder if this is uh, inspired by the shrines in uh, Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, they, they're really going to bully me into being good at platformers, which is a choice. It's blowing kisses! Wait, I want to know what happens if you get hit by it. Take one for the team, buddy. The lily pads are cute. Even this, like, musty, dusty underground is adorable. It's also well lit. So many games don't have this kind of area well lit, and I'm like, I'm walking in the dark. Like, I can kind of see where they play some of the spotlights, but it just feels like they put more care into it. Oh my goodness. That stuff will be going up. I'm so glad you can float slowly. Oh, it's broken. Oh, I guess it is broken. It's got the... The telltale sparks you see in games. Oh, and we have a mechanic outfit now. Oh, it's the first time I think I've seen the cursor. Oh, I love, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I do love these kind of games. I love these like little chord lineup games. They're fun. I don't know, the mechanic outfit, it could be giving more. I'm not even a big fan of frogs and he looks pretty cute. Oh, so we go underground and we're at the fifth. Like, even these areas that are normally, like, so ugly in video games actually looks adorable. Oh, he turned into a platform. He... Dude. The outfits are- The outfits are gonna eat my wallet alive, I'm telling you right now, they're so cute! Like, even the simpler ones are cute! Oh my god, and the fact that it's got, like, cycles? Oh, hello. An unusual merchant. He do be unusual. Oh my god, they put so much effort into this. Aww. Dude, the water looks good. Oh my- oh my god! <laughs> Not the cat! That cat did not land on its feet! Okay, there- thank god. Thank god you told me that. The sheep are pretty cute. The eyes are so huge. Oh my god, I've seen a lot of people say there's a good flower um, meadow to take photos in. So pretty. Oh, the customization. Ooh. Can I try them all? A girl is me. That's so lovely. Okay, but it gives us the other option, so I'm assuming we can um, mix and match stuff. Surely. <laughs> I wonder if like some are registered as like you have to try this outfit on with the whole set. Okay, that's that's so beautiful. God, it's so pretty. That is a me. That is a me outfit if I've ever seen one. Corresponding to the ability outfit. You don't have to wear the ability outfit all the time. You can use abilities while wearing. Okay, okay. 
But I wonder if these, I guess because he's in the outfit section, it's preset. Yeah. Oh, it is very rustic. Alright, one thing that I'm kind of picky about games is when you have the run animation and you go back to walking normally. It looks like that's a little bit more fluid than I've seen most games, but I think I'd really have to see it a little bit more. I, I'm so picky because I do not like it when the characters like run and then they like snap back to their normal form. Oh, look at the little chicken with the little beret. Oh, look at you. Thank you. I was like, is there a benefit to doing this? Oh my god, I think those eyes are huge. <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't see that eye. How big, how big is that chicken's eyes, dude? Okay, so you gather items. Such as feathers. I think that chicken's eyes are ginormous. Also, dang, Momo. You, he's a little runner. He's a little track star. Okay, so we have meat in this game. That's interesting. I assume it's because there's probably a cooking mini game. That's a little aggressive. Is that, is that like a tiny puppy? Is that like a microscopic puppy over there? That is a little sheep in here. Yeah, let's groom. Let's groom the little dude. <gasps> Look, it's got a little boom. Like, it's got a braid on its back. That's a. That's. Precious. Alright. Stoneville. Dude, I'm really into the greenhouses. I love the greenhouse design, like the little orb. That's so cool. Like, that's the other thing I like about these type of games is that you can have like these more fantastical elements to a more mundane world. I just... It's all about the world building for me. This is, okay, the die shop. So I don't know if we've seen true fast travel in this game. I wonder if that's going to be something that's going to be concerning moving forward. Uh, okay, so this whole thing is just one big platform. Which I guess we can't just use the basket to get to. We have to, we have to do it the hard way. But I love, like, the stone structure here. Dude, there's there's some, there's a flower. There's a flower on the side. You can pick that up. Okay, we're not. So that was some kind of fast travel. That there was a, that that's some kind of fast travel. Okay, okay, I've seen this gliding outfit, or I believe there's a different colored version of it from the other beta. And it has a stamina bar, so I guess that's how long we can use it. I wonder what happens when that runs out. <laughs> I wonder. They probably have fall damage since we have life. We've got five hearts. This is a cute outfit. I'm glad that there's so many blue outfits. And my bias 100%. I wonder if we have a- I have not been paying attention. I wonder if there's a general stamina bar if you're trying to run around. <laughs> not that they really need to run around during a demo. But I guess there's like the top speed of Nikki. I wonder if like everywhere has a wishing custom. Okay, alright, alright. Interesting world building. The power of wishes seems quite important. Okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. They all share wishing quotes. That, that checks out. He is not picking up the goods. I'm so distraught. <laughs> that bird needed our help. Uh, I guess we're gonna hang out with the seal who can like fling you. Catapult seal. Aptly named. <laughs> Give us the yeet. <laughs> Give us the good yeet. <laughs> and then we can switch to gliding. Makes sense because the bridge is out and I don't know if that thing's gonna get repaired. Wait, what if we fall into the pit? Is there stuff down there? Ghost train. 
So I wonder if what he's playing off is like a monitor up ahead of them for a TV. Okay, so these must be preset outfits that he keeps switching to, but you can just mitch him, miss, yeah. mix and match them. Oh, it's very Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, there's a Christmas tree in our Halloween area. It's too soon for Christmas. <laughs> oh, I like that it does like a little do re mi fa so la ti do with the, um, picking up the currency. Oh, we have a spell. Ooh. Okay, we can take damage. So this is the fighting mechanic. Okay, this looks like it requires a frustrating amount of aim. But this game's not meant to be predominantly combat, so I'm gonna let it slide. I'm not gonna lie, I do wish this had, like, hardcore combat, but I must remember this is a dress-up game. He threw us off the train. Okay, so we do just, like, perish. Okay. I'm glad we finally died so we knew what that looks like. Which, honestly, it's kind of nice. You, like, turn into a bunch of pink sparkles. Out to the shadows. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna jump scare somebody. That is absolutely gonna scare the crap out of someone. <laughs> I listen. I want to play the rest of the game, but I'm not, you gotta give it to me. I think I am actually on all of those. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I have all of them, and I, I'm. I believe I'm as pre-registered as you can be. All right, guys. We gotta go to Tokyo. We gotta play the demo. I want to play the demo. You want to play the demo. We all. Ooh, what is what is that? The booth? Oh my god. I kind of- I'm gonna look for pictures of the booth. That looks really awesome. That was awesome! Oh my god. I'm pretty hyped- I've been hyped for this game. I'm still hyped for this game. Oh my god. Ah! Ooh, I'm gonna play- I'm gonna play this game so much. Look how cute it looks! Ah! Thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!